of the night when the full moon is bright comes a horseman known as Zorro. His bold renegade carves a Z with his blade, a Z that stands for Zorro. Zorro, the fox so cunning and free. The sign of the sea. Senora Torres, and to you too, Senorita Elena. The swine they send me to make soldiers of, they have the manners of, of pigs. Uh, please, ladies. What do you think you're doing, Captain Monasterio? Is there someone at the door? No, I heard no one knock. This is no time to stand on formality, Senor Comandante. You may ruin everything. You look worried about something, Licenciado. Mm, I must prepare myself for some legal advice, no doubt. For what it's worth, I advise you to listen. We tell the people we are on their side against the landowners. If we throw Torres himself in jail, that's one thing. But to drag his wife and daughter through the streets in a field cart and to lock them up into one of those stinking cells is another. Those townspeople out there may be peons, but they're still Californians with a deep respect for California womanhood. Have you heard the way they're shouting out there? Calm yourself, Licenciado. Your fears are groundless. Groundless? Of course. The townspeople? Let them scream. The louder they scream, the better it suits my purpose. The only person I'm worried about is Zorro. He is the only one who could ruin my plans. Exactly. And you're giving him ammunition to use against us. My friend and worthy legal conspirator, let us say I am forcing his hand. Bait. The Taurus women are in jail. Let their cries for mercy be heard from one end of the Pueblo de los Angeles to the other. The louder they scream, the sooner Zorro must ride to save them. When he does, I will be ready for him. <laughs> you failed. Oh? Now do you understand? Diego. Yes, Father? Why was I not told about this before? The wife and daughter of my old friend Don Nacho being dragged off to jail like common thieves. Uh, no, thank you. You heard as soon as I, Father. The only difference being I intend to do something about it. I have a few choice words to say to the Comandante. Eduardo. Call my carriage. Very well, Father. I'll go. Well spoken, my son. The neighboring rancheros, Caldon, Valle, Inclan, and Cardosa, they will lend you every available man. You will have a strong force. Father, force is the one thing we mustn't use. With the district in open rebellion, Monastario would have every right to crush it with the military and confiscate our lands. What are you suggesting then? When Don Nacho reaches Monterrey and the governor finds out what is happening here, we shall get help, military help. But if we rebel, we force the governor to support Monastario. Yes, there is truth to what you say. But still, I cannot sit idly by and see the Taurus women suffer. Patience, Father. I will go and see what I can do. Mama, I must speak to you about the Senorita Elena. No, no, my son. It will not please the Patron if you talk about a woman so far above you. Then I will not please him. I cannot help it, Mama. I love the Senorita Elena. Such people are not for us to love. It will only make trouble for you, for all of us. Mama, I... Patron, Patron, is it true they have taken the Senorita Elena to prison? Yes, it is true. They have also taken Doña Luisa. 
What will we do with her? Doña Luisa? I mean, both ladies patron. I don't know, Benito, but I'm going to find out. Monasterio should be killed. Philosophy teaches us that violence is not the solution to the problems that plague mankind. <laughs> However, it is a tempting idea, eh? I will do what is necessary, patron. Keep away from Monasterio. Knowing your concern for the Senorita Elena, he would welcome the chance to kill you. I am not afraid. People in love so seldom are, and that is the time they should be most afraid. If you have no fear for yourself, have some for Senorita Elena. It would only make matters worse for her. Was the patron angry, my son? I do not think so. And he will save her? Don Diego would like to, but he will do nothing. The only one who can help us now is Zorro. Padre Felipe. Diego, what brings you from the cool shade of the Rancho de la Vega on such a warm day? Have you heard about Doña Luisa and Elena? It's very sad. I'm praying that the Comandante's heart be softened. The rancheros are up in arms. They feel the time for praying is over. I'm afraid it means bloodshed, unless we can persuade the Comandante to release them. Have you thought of the way, my son? No. Only to intercede in their behalf. It is not probable, but possible he will listen. Let us speak to him by all means. Sergeant Garcia, we wish to have a word with you. Oh, buenas tardes, Padre, and, and do you, Don Diego. Aha, oh, my friend, so much vino. You have the head today, eh? Oh, no, Don Diego. Only a slight wound received in the performance of my duty. That is all. Uh, you wish to see me, senores? We wish to see the Senora Torres and her daughter. I, I do not think the Comandante would like that. Uh, did he tell you we were not to see them? Well, no, but... Uh... Uh, Sergeant... The Commandant is a man of great foresight and brilliant planning, isn't he? Well, yes, but... Uh, if he left no orders forbidding it, then he meant us to see them. But... Sergeant, do you question the orders of your commanding officer? Oh, no, Don Diego. Good. Now, Sergeant, you can do me a favor. What is that, Don Diego? The inn has received two large casks of a new wine grown in the north. Oh. Now, I've made a small wager with a friend of mine that this northern wine is not quite as sweet as our own. I don't know, Don Diego. It, it is cooler in the north and the soil more sandy. That, they say, makes for a sweeter grape. The sergeant's reputation with wine is well known. Wine, Padre, is, you might say, a, a hobby of mine. I would like your opinion of this new vintage, sergeant. Well, such a request I cannot refuse. Admit the Reverend Father and Don Diego. Do you have permission, Padre? I shall report my findings at once. You do wrong to encourage the Sergeant, Diego. We're all weak one way or another, helping resist temptation. I have a genuine affection for Sergeant Garcia, Padre. At heart, he's a good man. If his thirst for salvation equaled his thirst for wine, he would have been canonized long ago. Diego! Well, thank heavens you've come. I prayed you would. I have a message from someone deeply concerned over you. Father? Benito. What did he say? That he was coming here and tried to save you. Well, he mustn't. He'll be killed. He seems to feel that you're worth the sacrifice. Oh, he mustn't. Diego, don't let him. I will speak to him. If necessary, I will order him to stay on the rancho. Thank you. It may be the first order that Benito has ever disobeyed. Doña Luisa, have you seen the Comandante since you were brought here? Have you been decently fed? Not even water. We were told the Comandante had forbidden food or drink until after he had seen us. And uh, he refuses to see you? This does not seem uh, entirely consistent. <laughs> but then when was consistency a requirement for military command? Well. Perhaps he will see us. 
With your permission, ladies. Is there any hope? Can they make Monasterio free us? Save your hopes for your father. That he can reach Monterey and stir the governor to action against this monster. Enter. Oh, Padre. Buenas tardes. I bid you welcome. Well, the scholar again. And the what do I owe this pleasure, De La Vega? I came with Padre Felipe. Please. After the trouble you had last night, I would think you would be content to stay among your books. People in trouble are everywhere. We came about Doña Luisa and her daughter. Oh, I offer you the seat to your robe, Padre. But I will not discuss the prisoners. That is not an ecclesiastical matter. The church is always concerned with its children, Comandante, not with legal distinctions. You set a very lavish table, Comandante. But uh, you haven't bothered to share it with your guests. Minds are always sharpened by hunger. I'm giving the prisoners a chance to think over the consequences of their having helped Senor Torres to escape. Do I understand, Comandante, that you intend to hold the women as hostages? I am merely detaining them until they tell me the truth. At the risk of paraphrasing Pontius Pilate, what is the truth? Their full confession to the seditious acts and utterances of the traitor Ignacio Torres. Sergeant Garcia begs to report, Capitan. What is going on here? Well, this man, this man forced his way in, Comandante. It was only due to my great alertness and presence of Do mind. Do not tell me how clever you are. I know. Well, you have something to say to me? Please, Comandante. I came to see the Senorita Elena. Oh. You must let me see her. You dare to tell me what I must do? Benito is young and impulsive, Comandante. He's also in love. And last but most important to me, he's my head barquero. I can hardly afford to lose him. Very well. It's not the game I'm after anyway. As usual, you arrest the wrong man. Let him go. The wrong man, Comandante, but how... Enough! I do this as a favor to your master, De La Vega. But hear me well, Vaquero. If ever again you mention the name of a Spanish lady with such ardor, you would wish you had been born without a tongue. Now, vamanos! Hey, Comandante! Baboso! In one day, Comandante, you can do more harm to Spain's relations with the good people of this land than all our missions can undo in one year. There are some advantages, Padre. When you teach the Indians the life of our savior, you can always use the Comandante to illustrate the tyranny of Caesar. You try my patience, De La Vega. Sergeant! Yes, Capitan! Padre and De La Vega are just leaving. Escort them to the gates. I have a busy day. Please excuse me. Will you at least accept bail for the women? Yes. Nothing less than their full confession. Oh, will you uh, take supper with me at the inn, Padre? Thank you, Diego. I'd like supper. church after dark.
So at last we will see the outlaw has so long eluded the king's justice. Well, we finally caught him, eh, Capitan? We? Oui. You had nothing to do with it, as usual, but Bosso. It will give me great pleasure to hang you, Zorro. I will even declare a holiday for the execution. Now for the unmasking. Benito! So this is the famous Zorro. I never would have suspected Benito. This lovesick vaquero Zorro? Of course not. Benito, I warned you to stay away. I'm sorry, Patron. I am responsible, Benito. You did this for me. I'd do it again. A thousand times. Sergeant, prepare a gallows for the summary execution of this prisoner. Take him away! Can't he have the comfort of confession? Later. Now I want this yard cleared. Sergeant, clear the yard. See, si, Capitan. Clear the quartel. Everybody clear out. I'm sorry, Padre Felipe, but this means you too and Don Diego also. Please. That's stupid. Can't you do nothing right? No one is allowed in, Padre. Pass the Padre. Now this time, try to put your clumsy hands where I throw the rope. Ah, tie it well. Padre, don't let him die. Please help. <laughs> Mama, we must save him. We can only pray. Perhaps God will soften the heart of Monastario. The confession. We've got to sign it. You would publicly accuse your father of treason? Father is safe. The governor will protect him. But they'll kill Benito now. Mama, we have to. Guard? Tell Capitan Monastario we are ready to sign the confession. I love Father, and I would go through any torture before I would dishonor him. But this is a matter of Benito's life. I suppose we all do what we must. Yes? You wish to see me? We will sign, Comandante. Only let Benito go. The confession will free you and your mother. No one else. Bring out the prisoner. On the leg. Benito. All right, get on with it, Sergeant. Since it is customary, Vaquero, have you anything to say? May I die without chains? Remove them and finish quickly, Padre. Start the wagon on my signal. Yeah! Yes. Throw out that building. 
All by myself, Capitan? Coward, get up the ladder. I want Zoro alive. But Nega, you two, surround this building. Get above and behind him. But remember, I want Zoro alive. Now go! Surrender, Senor Zoro! I have you surrounded! Garcia, you imbecile! Monastario! Why send children to do a man's job? Close in from the back. Hurry! See, Commandante! I will handle this rooster. Senor Zorro. Blazers, follow me! but I must leave you. And then he... And... Next week, the courageous California Dons band together to fight oppression. Watch the cunning Commandante deploy his lancers to meet their attack. Lancers attack! Ride with Zorro in his desperate struggle to save his father and the ambushed rancheros. Next week, when the Walt Disney Studio brings you another thrilling adventure of Zorro!